Hormonal therapy is great treatment for prostate cancer. We know that. But some of the problems is it can cause a lot of metabolic side effects and diabetes in particular. And so we had this idea that diabetes at the end of the day is a problem with blood sugar. So what happens if you just don't eat sugar? We know in non-cancer patients this is a good diet that causes men to lose weight, improves diabetes control, and actually in animals it actually slows tumor growth. So we wanted to see if we take men starting hormonal therapy and put half of them on this low carbohydrate diet and half keep eating what you've been eating, what will happen? So we conducted a prospective randomized controlled trial, six month intervention, extreme low carbohydrate, 20 grams of carbohydrates a day, 20 grams of total carbohydrates a day, not net carbohydrates, but total carbohydrates versus eating what you want for six months and in overweight men starting hormonal therapy. And so you expect the men, you know, typical BMI was 29, they were in their mid 60s, PSAs are around 20 in each group kind of a typical hodgepodge men starting hormonal therapy. And impressively, what we saw at six months is the difference between the groups in terms of weight is the group on the low carb actually lost 23 pounds of weight in six months. It completely blocked the osteoporosis, the bone loss that happened. We saw no change in the low carb versus about 2% bone loss in the standard arm. And we saw reductions in fat mass, actually reduced fat mass in the low carb arm. And for our primary outcome, we saw big differences in insulin. Actually, insulin resistance went up 36% in the control arm and actually went down 4% in the intervention arm. Didn't reach statistical significance with a p-value of 0.14, but it was statistically significant at the three month time point. So in summary, we have an intervention, an extreme low carbohydrate diet that actually blocks a lot of the side effects of hormonal therapy. It blocked osteoporosis, it suggestively blocked insulin resistance, results in weight loss and fat loss. And so again, given that we have an intervention with these benefits, we know in animal models this diet slows tumor growth. So actually in the process of now conducting a second prospective randomized trial, testing whether this diet can actually slow the growth of prostate cancer in men with recurrent disease.